Hi and hello, welcome to online biology classes because of ideal others educational institution and your I am Sadish Kumar going to take down the class regarding the topic of animal kingdom. So yesterday we are seen about some of the basic introduction uh, regarding the animal kingdom then how the organisms are classified, what are the criteria we are going to be followed classifying the organism and what is binomial name these are the things are seen in the previous classes so the continuation of the animal kingdom we are seen about some of the basic idea regarding the pylum and what are the pylums are available how the pylums are classified what are the special character and general character which is available for each and every type of the pylum and we know about some of the basic example of the pylum these are the things are seen about today's video so today's topic we are seen about invertebrata so i already told you that uh, what is invertebrata so based on the nematocard and the backbone the organisms are classified into two groups one is called invertebrata and another one is called cardata the cardata are two type prokardata and cardata which means they are consist of a specialized structure of backbone but the invertebrata the absence of nematocard and the backbone so they are starts from the primitive type of organism then according to this criteria today we are seen about some of the pylum the first pylum of invertebrata that is called porifera from that uh, porifera itself we are getting a meaning pores that means it is in the form of holes it is a soft body, uh, body organism the entire body is covered with the minute pores the best example of the porifera is called sponges so these are the multicellular non motile aquatic organism commonly called sponges multicellular that means presence of more number of cells non motile that means which cannot be migrated or which cannot be moved from one place to another place aquatic organism means the organism which is available on the water so it is called an aquatic either in the form of fresh water or marine water if it is fresh water means available on the lake pond and river and marine water means which is available on the sea and ocean they exhibit the cellular grade of organization so last class we are seen about what is cellular grade of organization cellular grade of organization means they are consist of any type of cell so it is in the form of multicellular organism so we are called upon it is a cellular grade of organization the body is perforated with many pores is called oocyta so the disperforated that means the entire body which is covered with a yes, small small minute pore that is called oocyta the water entered enter into the body through the oocyta leads to the canal system so canal system is nothing but it is in the form of pipeline connection so all the water is enter by means of this canal so best example we are seeing the sponges which is used for the building construction works we are put down the sponges into the water what would be happen all the water is enter into the sponges like that the sponge body also consist of a minute pore through the pore itself the water is entered that is called a canal system then it circulate the water throughout the body and carries the food and oxygen so it is primitive type of organism so there is no the proper system of mouth and all other digestive system so all the food material and oxygen is transmitted by means of the canal system the body wall contain a spicules which is form a skeletal framework once it is in the form of dry substance if we are touched the any kind of sponges what would be happen they are in the form of rough and by the same time in the form of hard that is called an skeletal framework the skeletal framework which can be provided a defined structure of each and every type of the sponges then the reproduction is both asexual and sexual example is a equilibrium and a cycon so we are seeing that uh, amazing diagram and picture regarding the equilibrium and the cycon 
the reproduction which is takes place on asexual and sexual method asexual method means production of spores and sexual method means involvement of both male and female organism there is no vegetative reproduction is begined from the porifera the next pylum we are seen about the seal and treta or call and treta commonly they are called upon is a cnidia so that is a pylum the second pylum call and treta so the colon traits are aquatic organism living in the water mostly marine so almost all types of colon traits in the form of marine few are in the fresh forms they are living in the water body like a lake river and a pond they are multicellular radially symmetrical so radially symmetrical means uh, we can divide it into two equal half then the tissue grade of organization because of the reason it is in the form of multicellular organism then the body wall is a diploplastic with two layers the presence of ectoderm and endoderm so they are called a diploplastic organism and outer ectoderm and inner mesoderms are separated by non cellular jelly like substance is called a mesogilia so it is a outer ectoderm inner endoderms are separated with the mucous membrane the mucous membrane jelly like substance for example we are seen in the egg outer side the shell is available inner side the egg yolk is available in between that they are surrounded with the white color fluid the jelly like substance are available in the colon treta then it has the central gastrovascular cavity is called colon tron with the mouth is surrounded with the short tentacles so the central uh, gastrovascular cavity is available then tentacles it is a finger like projection which is available on the mouth region the tentacles bears and the stinging cells is called a dinoplast or nematocytes so what they are doing they are in the form of a yeah, nematocytes then the many colon traits exhibit the yeah, polymorphism which is the variation in the structure and function individual of the same species so poly means many morphism means structure so they are having a different shape and a different structure of the same species the same species also they are consist of different shape and structure then uh, their reproduction is both asexually and sexually the best example is a hydra and the jellyfish we have seen the jellyfish they are in the various colors blue color green color yellow color white color like that that is called an polymorphism in nature and the third pylum we are shown about the platical menthes platy that means uh, platy that means in the form of flat uh, flattened so the best example of the platical menthes is called uh, flat worms then they are bilaterally symmetrical that means bilaterally symmetrical means we cannot be divided into two equal half we are getting only in the identical half triploplastic organism presence of ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm acelomate that means there is no body cavity there is no body cavity most of them in the parasitic nature parasites that means they are depending upon other organism they are not available in the open space they are available inside of the human being inside of the cow or inside of the pig like that they are called an parasitic organism parasite means they are depending upon other organ organism for surveillance and food then the suckers and the hooks uh, help the animal to attach itself in the body so suckers that means they are in the form of sucking substance they are suck the blood from the host organism and hooks they are binding with the host organism excretion occurs in the specialized cell is called flame cells they are having a special type of cell that is called flame cells these worms are hermaphroditic having a both male and a me uh, uh, female reproductive organs so this is in the form of hermaphroditic organism the male and the females are available in the same organism so that is called an hermaphroditic organism so the single individuals the examples of the liver fluke and the tap worm so liver fluke which is available on this liver and the tap worm you know very well the tinea solium nada pulu so they are the best example of the platical menthes so next pylum we are seen about the ascalmenthes so the ascalmenthes also in the form of round worm so the ascalmenthes are bilaterally symmetrical again it is in the form of bilaterally symmetrical we are get down with the two identical halves the triploplastic organism presence of ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm the body cavity is a pseudocerum that is means a 
a false body cavity there is no true body cavity they are existing in the free living soil forms as a par parasite they are living in the both the free living soil soil as well as in the parasite parasite means they are depending upon other organism the body is round and pointed both end so the entire body is a cylindrical and the both ends are sharp that is called a pointed end it is unsegmented covered with a thin cuticle so there is no segment is available it is a flat in nature and by the same time they are having some kind of a mucous membrane it is providing the uh, preventing the organism from the moisture content that is called a cuticle the sexes are separated which means male organisms are separated and female organisms are separated the most common disease caused by the nematodes in the human being elephantiasis and the scariens so they are causing the elephantiasis and the scariens which is caused by these two organism ascaris lumbricus and vulcinaria they are causing the diseases the next pylum we are seen about anilida so next pylum we are going to be seen about anilida so the anilida which means the segmented worms segmented which means they are having some kind of separate compartment that is called the segment the entire body is covered with the mucous membrane and they are in the form of chain like structure is called a segment in nature then uh, these are bilaterally symmetrical so bilaterally by bi means two laterally symmetrical that means we are get down with the two identical uh, identical halves then the triploplastic triploplastic means presence of ectodom endodom and mesodom first true coelomate first body cavity containing organism so then before uh, before pylum we are seen about a coelomatic and pseudo coelomatic organism but it is in the form of coelomatic organism then animals with the organ system grade of organization before that the porifera up to ascalminthus we are seen about the cellular level of organization there is no organ development the presence are only in the cells but uh, from the pylum anilida itself they are starts from the organ level of system so i already in previous class i told you the cell the group of cell is called a tissue a group of tissue is called an organ a group of organ is called an organ system a group of organ system is called an organism according to the second category the first category is called the cellular level the second category is a organ level so the organ system grade is available then the body is externally divided into the segment is called a metameris joined by the ring structure is called annuli so the entire body is covered with the segment the segment is called a metameris then segments are continuously connected joined ring like structure is called annuli it is covered with the moist thin cuticle so moist which means in the form of watery thin means a very soft cuticle is a protection the ct and parapodia are locomotor organ ct which is available inside of the segment and parapodia is also available in the skin they are the locomotor organs locomotion the locomotor organ that means they can move from one place to another place then searching up the food and preventing from the predators so which is helped by means of the locomotor organs then the sexes may be separate or united is a hermaphroditic some of the organism the sexes are separated which means the male and the female organisms are separated and some of the organism the sexes are same that is called a hermaphroditic organism so the example is a nerish earthworm and a leech so leech we know very well then earthworm you know very well then we are at a newly uh, learned organism that is called nerish so which is available in the such as so thank you very much uh, from next class itself we are seen about another pylum so the pylum arthropoda i am sadish kumar from biological science department if you are like this video please subscribe the channel thank you